Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I hope everyone enjoyed their Easter weekend. I had an amazing weekend with my friends and family, but my kids overall had the most amazing time because they woke up and went to bed eating candy. They had candy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I let them get away with it because it's the holidays and sometimes you just gotta let them live. Like, what are you gonna do? Anyway, uh, moving along into today's video, I have a haul for you guys, a little collective haul from Zara, Forever 21, and Sephora, some beauty, some fashion. So yeah, let's just jump right into that. I'll just start off really quickly with the two things that I got at Sephora. The first thing I picked up was this um, concealer from Becca. And I have been on the hunt for a concealer to cover up my dark circles. Um, and it's been so annoying to actually find something that covered and took away that, you know, that darkness from there. Because the concealers I've been using are great for highlighting, but not so much for covering. Or at least maybe the shades that I've been using. So I've been on the hunt for one. And I was walking around in Sephora and I came across this one from Becca. I was not recommended this by anyone. I've never even heard of it. I just saw it there and the name of it is what intrigued me to it. It's called the Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream. And I got it in the shade Toffee, Toffee. Don't know how you pronounce it, but that's what I got. And it comes in this glass, um, you know, pot right here. And I didn't love that it comes in this type of, um, you know, casing or whatever because you have to either use a brush or use your fingers and I rather a concealer that comes with an applicator but whatever like I said I wanted something with great coverage and this said that it was the ultimate coverage so that made me um, buy it and it's this creamy consistency it's heavier than than the concealers that I've been using and after I bought it I read reviews and it does say that it might be on the heavy side for under for under your eyes and it might crease on you um well it creases on some people that's what they've said but you know it's different strokes for different folks you know like what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me so you just have to try things out on your own and yes it does crease under my eye but every concealer that i try that i use i feel like it creases under my eye so i'm not going to go based on just that I do like the coverage on it. I think it covers amazing. So if you are looking for a concealer to cover either something under your eyes or acne scars or some blemishes, whatever it is that you need to cover up, this is really good for that. So I do recommend it. I love the job that it does for covering my circle, my dark circles. So I decided to keep it, but it does crease. I'm not going to lie. But like I said, all my, I, f I find that all my concealers crease. So I decided to keep it anyway. I do pair it with um, my other concealers I have from MAC to, you know, to give me my, excuse me, I can't talk properly, to give me some highlights because this this on its own doesn't really give me much of a highlight. It just gives me good, the good coverage that I want. So I do use another concealer for the highlight. So yeah, this is the Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealer. I recommend it if you want coverage. If you don't want coverage, it is a little bit on the heavy side, so maybe you might not love it. But hey, you can give it a try. And the other thing that I picked up is this Stila, Stila eyeliner. This is the liquid, excuse me, this is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. And I have heard so many amazing things about this um, eyeliner for such a long time. And every time I go to Sephora, I say I'm going to pick it up. I always put it in my little basket and then I walk around and do some more shopping. And this ends up leaving my basket because I'm just trying to be cheap, you know? I didn't want to I didn't want to spend the $20 on an eyeliner but I finally decided to just buy it because I really needed a new one and I what I love about it is the length of the stick itself and then the applicator is really thin and long and I'm not like amazing uh oh excuse me sorry people okay I'm not amazing when it comes to putting my eyeliner on like Sometimes I mess up and I got to clean up and go back in there and everything. So I'm not a pro at it. So I really like that the applicator is really thin and long. So it gives you good precision and good control. And you can work with it. You can make your eyeliner really thin and long. Or you can build it up to be thicker. Whatever you want. Whatever you prefer. So I really do love this. It is, you know, it does stay for a very long time. It's not going to like bleed on you or anything like that. 
Um, it's waterproof, so if you're not a fan of waterproof things, maybe this is not your steel. This is not for you. But I take it off with that um, makeup remover that I've, I've spoken about a couple of times from Perlis. And it comes right off, so it's not like I'm sitting there struggling trying to take this off. No, it comes off right away. So, I'm happy I finally bought this. Um, definitely recommend it if you don't mind coughing up 20 bucks for it. So yeah guys, that is all the makeup that I got. I didn't want to go too crazy on the makeup. So now I'm going to show you the couple of things that I bought um, for spring and for summer um, from Zara and Forever 21. I only got one thing from Zara because I tend to shop more for my kids there than for myself. Because, I don't know, Forever 21 is just my store. It's like, I feel like I'm cheating on it if I don't shop there. I don't know. Like, Does anyone else feel like that? Okay, don't mind me. I have issues. So yeah, this is the top that I got from Zara. And it's navy, it's like a navy blue color, yeah. And it's tie-dye, um, a tie-dye print. It's so flowy and like bouncy. It's like one of those materials that just, you know, just falls on you. And so comfortable. Oops, sorry. And what I love about it the most is this opening in the back. I love the, I love the like the slits in the back of the shirts and on the side of the shirts. Really into that lately. So yeah, this is so comfortable. You can wear this with some shorts. You can wear this with tights. You can wear this with jeans. Whatever you prefer and it's going to look awesome sauce. So really love this. And it wasn't even expensive. Let me tell you, it was only $25. So, and the material is really, really good. So really nice shirt. I love this shirt. I can't wait to wear it. Um, the next thing I got, I actually had on yesterday for Easter. And it's this denim shirt. Here it is. I'm sorry I didn't button it up for you guys, but... I'm lazy. Um, so yeah, it's this denim shirt with stripes. And I saw this shirt first online and I really loved the stripes because I have already plain, a plain denim shirt. And I really like the, the, the detailing with the stripes. So when I found it in the store, I fell in love with it even more because it is so soft. It's not one of those like rough denim shirts and it just feels so comfortable and like sits so good on you. Like I really, really love this shirt. And this shirt, um, I believe it was like $27.90. So that's definitely not bad for a denim shirt. I really love this and if you want to see how I wore it you can go to my Instagram I have a picture up there of how I styled it so I will link that down below for you guys the next thing I got keeping on the denim trend I got a jean jacket because I think this is like a staple piece for spring and summer like this is perfect to throw on any type of outfit I think you know when you're feeling a little cold or it might be a little chilly um, love I had a jean jacket but I gave it to my sister so I needed to get myself another one. And I've been dying for one that fit me a little shorter than the one that I owned. So I found this one in forever. And I really love the color. I love like the like the faded um, wash here in the front. And I love how it fits. And this wasn't too bad either. I think it was, yeah, it was $29.90. So this was really good. You can't go wrong with having yourself a jean jacket. And then I picked up this long cardigan sweater thing. And it's very thin. It's actually kind of see-through and it's really long. I'm really into like long like cardigans and like blazer type things. Um, this is perfect for like a nice, you know, chilly day. You could, if In the summer, if you're wearing shorts and a tee and you're going to be out and it might get a little chilly, this is like the perfect thing to have on you to throw over. This costs $19.90, which is great. And it's also so comfy and I'm all about that comfort life. So I really, really love this. I love having things... To, to be able to like layer you know to layer up so I had to get this love oops sorry okay so the last thing I got is this also on trend with the long layering things um this is like a blazer jacket I don't know what you want to call it it's really long as you can see I also showed you sideways it's really long, but I'm a tall girl, so it fits me good. Um, this also has like the slits on the sides here. I can't wait to wear this. I absolutely love it. You know, it might not be for everyone. It, it could come off looking like on camera, like a lab coat type of thing. But trust me, it looks so nice on. I tried this on in the store and it looked so good. And I wasn't even wearing something that like really like matched with it. But even as I tried it on, some ladies were passing by. And they said how much they really liked this jacket. I mean, I don't know if they liked it on me or they just liked the jacket itself. But it definitely gave me more of like a boost to buy it. Um, it's so nice. And these things are like really in trend right now. 
I actually want an olive green one and it's sold out online and every time I go to the stores and I've been to several ones I don't find it but I'm really on the hunt for it so yeah this is the last thing I got and I just love isn't it pretty I can't wait to wear it um this costs $39.90 um, so yeah, it's a little on the pricier side for Forever 21, but it's worth it to me. The material is really good. So yeah, guys, this is all that I have to show you for today. A couple of things that I picked up for the spring and the couple things in Sephora. Hope you guys liked watching this video. Maybe you're interested in picking up any of these things that I showed you. I will link everything down below. Once again, don't forget to go to my Instagram if you ever want to see how I style like the things that I show you here on my channel. And yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.